Hey, kids. Hi, Layla. Hi, Levi. And Connor and Carter and Kyle and Reese and Paisley and Bobby. Hi, kids. I'm so glad you've joined me today for today's book. Look up at the screen and you can see that it's going to be called A Walk on the Wild Side. And this story is about a moose, a bear, and a beaver. Since it's about a bear, I'm drinking my water out of my bear mug today. Anyway, let's get started with the book. Again, it's called A Walk on the Wild Side by Nicholas Oldland. There once was a bear, a moose, and a beaver who loved adventure, but sometimes their competitive natures got in the way of having fun. One sunny morning, the bear, the moose, and the beaver decided it was a great day to climb a mountain. I know there's mountains like this where Layla and Levi live. There are also mountains near where I live. Have you seen a mountain before? To get to the mountain, they had to, they descended into a valley. Look who else is joining them, a little red bird. They walk through a grassy field and there's the little bird. He says, are we there yet? They waded through a stream and crossed a deep canyon. Look at that. They have to crawl across this log. He says, don't look down. At the foot of the mountain, they stop for a snack. Between mouthfuls, the bear, the moose, and the beaver discussed ways to make the hike more interesting. I have to chuckle because, look, the beaver loves to eat uh, the bark off of tree limbs. The bear likes to eat fruit. And the moose, he must like to eat uh, greens. And check out the little bird back here. What does he like to eat? Worms. That's right. All right. The beaver thought the best way to add some excitement was to make it a race. He says, I'm number one. As soon as they finished their last bites, the three friends were off running. The race was on. Look who else is with them. <laughs> I think that's so cute. So there they go. They're racing. Have you ever been in a race, a running race? Thanks to his long legs, the moose took an early lead, but the beaver and the bear followed right on his tail. Look at them. They had to swim across a stream and run and go across a log and then up, up, up. The bird was lucky he could fly. Then just as the moose rounded a bend in the mountain path, a boulder came tumbling down toward him. So it started up here in this big boulder or big rock, came tumbling down towards moose. Fortunately, the moose jumped out of harm's way just in time. Unfortunately, he jumped over the side of the mountain. Arr! When the beaver rounded the bend, the moose was out of sight. Worried that he had fallen behind, the beaver picked up his pace faster and faster and faster. When the bear came running by, he heard the moose's cry for help. The bear followed the sound to the mountain's edge where he saw the moose dangling from a tree branch. Help! Help! Fearlessly, the bear attempted a daring rescue. Sadly, he failed. Whoops! Thanks to Moose's quick reflexes, the bear's life was saved. But for now, they were both hanging on for their lives. And the bear says thanks to the moose for grabbing on to him. And of course, here's our little bird buddy just sitting on a branch. 
The moose and the bear's cries for help echoed up the mountain. The beaver followed their calls back down the path. The beaver's instincts kicked in. He chewed down a tree, carved out a few notches, and lowered the simple ladder to the moose and the bear so they could climb up. Arr. Back on solid ground, the three friends realized their hike had become a little too exciting. If they were going to make it to the top of the mountain, a slower pace might be better. And that's when their hike became truly interesting. They explored a dark cave. You go first. No, you go first. They discovered a prehistoric fossil and helped one another along the way. At the end of the day, the bear, the moose, and the beaver agreed that reaching the top of the mountain was great, but enjoying the journey to together was even better. And look who else is with them. And that's the end. Thanks for joining me. Remember, leave your name in the comment below if you'd like me to give you a shout out in one of our books.